This video will explain how to replace the drive shaft on all Dutton Lanson DLB series brake winches except for the DLB 2500A and 2505A. Step 1 requires you to remove your winch's handle from the drive shaft. Turn the handle clockwise until it clicks, meaning the brake has been locked. Use a 3 quarter inch wrench to then loosen the nut, then take it, the spring, and the handle itself off of the drive shaft. Next, loosen the reel's bolt with two 916th inch wrenches, then remove it from the winch, and keep the freewheel lever parts on the bolt if your winch has one. Pull the reel out of the base, and take note if it has a spacer washer on the side of it or not. If it does and it falls off the reel, you will have to place it back on the same side of it after you've replaced the drive shaft. Pry the E-ring off of the drive shaft with a flathead screwdriver and set it aside. Turn your winch on its side so the E-ring side is facing up, line up the bearing with the ringed end of a 5 8 inch wrench, then hit it with the hammer to loosen the bearing from the winch. Take the drive shaft out of the winch, then remove the bearing, pressure washer, ratchet wheel, and pressure plate from it. Reinstall these parts in the same order on your new drive shaft, making absolutely sure that the ratchet wheel's curved side is set on the pressure plate and its flat side is against the pressure washer, as the assembly must look exactly like this for the winch to function properly. Slide the bearing onto your new drive shaft, then reinsert it into the hole on the non-ratchet side of the winch base. Turn your winch on its side again, then use the drive shaft and the bolt that held the reel in place to hammer the bearing tightly back into its hole in the winch's base. Next, turn the ratchet paw clockwise until it engages the spring and creates tension, then hold it down while you push the drive shaft against it. Let go of the ratchet paw, then make sure the spring is hooked around the paw as shown, and the paw is engaged in the ratchet wheel teeth as shown. Set the E-ring in its groove on the other end of the drive shaft, then use your flat blade to press it down so it snaps completely in place. If your winch's reel had a spacer washer on its side, set it back in place, then reinsert the bolt through the reel with the free wheel lever still on the bolt if you have one, and tighten it so it's snug, but not so tight that the bolt's spacer tube is crushed. Spin the reel to make sure everything turns freely, then thread the handle back onto the drive shaft. Slide a long screwdriver all the way through the slots in the reel, and turn the handle until the screwdriver is forced against the base of the winch to hold the reel in place. Place the handle spring on the shaft so its wide end is against the handle and its narrow end is against the handle nut. Then tighten the handle nut on the drive shaft until it's snug. Finally, remove the long screwdriver from the reel and turn the handle to ensure everything is working properly and the winch makes a clicking noise. Thanks for watching this video. Like it, share it, then subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.